Hey, this is Osprey from MyChartCoach.com, and we are looking at ticker symbol ACI. The first chart here is a daily chart, and uh, as you can see here, there's this uh, horizontal support line. <clears throat> there was support that held the last week of October, and then it held again all the way through November until today and then uh, so, so this uh, key support level broke and there was a drop below it and the close below that level so this the, our last chart this line was green and so now the support has turned into resistance so now it, it's turned red so uh, yeah now, now that will be uh, the the new resistance line to break which is lined up with EMA's 4 and 8 EMA 4 at 138 is the first resistance level to break here and then EMA 8 at 148 as you can see they, they've been resistance during this pullback um, ACI failed to close above EMA 8 and so now, now with this drop below support this is signaling more downside risk a new uptrend cannot begin until this middle Bollinger Band at 176 turns into support so uh, if you can see here how the lower Bollinger Band <clears throat> is is uh, this solid purple line and it's off the chart it's currently at 0 0.77 that is signaling more downside risk because on this chart that is the next support level okay uh, if you look up here at FASTO you'll see that there's this uh, FASTO bear cross so uh, FASTO is below 20 RSI is hitting the uh, 30 oversold line you can see there's just average volume down here at the volume and then uh, MACD is pinched the green line and the red line are both pinched um, the red line is the signal line okay let's look at the next chart okay this is another daily chart and this shows the 50 the 100 and 200 day moving averages and this is where I think the share price is headed you know I, I believe the share price is on its way down to this uh, first week of August support level which is at 1 1.00 1 as you can see um, the, the share price was in a downtrend leading up to this uh, uh, 1.00 level where it found support ACI found support and then rocketed back and look at that it went from 1 to 10 I mean that's some huge percentage gains on that bounce there so uh, not saying that's gonna happen again but I am saying that that one point zero zero is the line in the sand um, when you're uh, trading penny stocks that is the, the the key level of support if you are if the candles are forming above that level and then if the candles are were forming below a dollar let's say it was at 99 cents and it was getting ready to hit a dollar a dollar would be a key level of resistance so it's a huge number and when trading penny stocks so the, this is the, this to me looks like the target for the market makers and so what we'll be looking for is a, a volume spike as you can see um, you know there's much heavier volume now compared to uh, back in July but as you can see the, the this was the average volume in July if you uh, look down here at the volume bars and then there was this spike the first week of August look how much bigger that, that volume bar was than the bars that that signaled this bounce that player bottom feeders were loading that they were loading for the bounce so uh, that's what we'll be looking for here we'll be looking for a spike above this average uh, volume line and then um, down here we'll be looking for a MACD bearish crossover if you look up here at FASTO um, yeah keeping for MACD here it's pinched and um, if there's more downside risk you should see a bearish crossover the uh, MACD line should cross over the signal line to the downside and then if you look up here at FASTO um, this this dotted green line has been the past levels of support I mean that's way down here bottoming probably 0, 0.00 on fast dough but it looks like that that could be the um, w where this is headed and where you might you know hit this one and have get fast dough pegged down here at the bottom and that might be the extreme move to the downside that sets up for a nice snapback uh, bounce bounce rally and then um, up here on RSI you have RSI at 31.11 um, 30 is the oversold level on RSI and um, I could see RSI dropping below 30 see back here in August this is uh, RSI hit this uh, below 30 so um, you know, that's what we're looking for is for history possibly to repeat and have a, a similar type of bounce play 
and then let's look at the 15 minute chart as you can see this this chart is a two day chart and each candle on this chart represents 15 minutes of trading and as you can see here candles were riding the lower Bollinger Band which is this purple line and this uh, pink and green line lower which are the EMAs 4 and 8 and so they, it, as you can see the candles failed to break that resistance the entire way down and then now the, you know there was this bounce at 2 o'clock and then the candles started forming above EMA 4 but they failed to close above EMA 8 and um, you know this the key going forward is going to be the the break above EMA 8 and then get above the middle Bollinger Band which is at 129 um, the the uptrend cannot begin until this um, middle Bollinger Band turns into support what I'm seeing here on this this uh, this move into the close to me this is looking like a bear flag see this so this is not what you want to see if you're like trying to play the bounce because this looks like this is your classic bear flag you've got the big drop and then you've got the bounce and then there was failed to break resistance see how that looks like a flag and this is like a flag pull right here so you've got the so you got a you got a flag and then uh, um yeah so yeah this is probably down here like this there you go don't want to do too much drawing on this one but to, uh, to show you here, there you go. There's the flag. So now you got the, see how there's this down, down drop, and then there's this bounce, and that forms a flag. That signals more downside risk. So that's what we'll be looking out for, is um, if the middle Bollinger, if the first EMA 8 fails to break on the on the 15 minute chart, that will signal more downside risk. And then if uh, the, um, the, and then if, um, it, if the EMA 8 fails to break, that'll equal more downside risk. And then um, it, it, if the EMA 4 support breaks, okay, that, that's going to signal um, the, the, a possible pullback down to this lower Bollinger Band, which is down here at 139, and it's lined up with this uh, tail on, on this candle here at 2 o'clock. MACD is pinched here, you know, so if there is a bullish crossover, you know, that's something bulls you need to be looking for. So you want to see a bullish crossover, candles forming above EMA 8, and then breaking the middle Bollinger Band. And then if you look over here on the five minute chart, you can see the, uh, this is one day of trading, the candles, um, you know, the, the, uh, this, each candle represents five minutes of trading. This is just for one day's action. Um, this is the Tuesday chart. And then as you can see, there's this bounce. And then candles are forming above the middle Bollinger Band. And that's exactly what bulls want to see. They want to see the middle Bollinger Band at 1.218 support level hold and if that holds going forward then that that will signal the possible start of a new uptrend and as you can see the Bollinger Bands here are very tight and what that's telling you this is the upper Bollinger Band this is the lower Bollinger Band that's telling you that this consolidation period is coming to an end see so look at when it started how wide they were and then they got tighter 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 that's showing you that the the um, chart is winding tight and there's either going to be a break above this upper Bollinger Band or a break below this lower Bollinger Band at the open tomorrow it's set up for it as you can see here's another kind of drawn out um, you see the flag turned into a, a, a sideways pattern so you got a sideways trend here on, on ACI and then you had a, a bearish crossover here at, at, at about 240 something like that 245 yesterday so that, that that's that's a good sign for the bulls bulls you want to see this green line stay above the red line and then you had a, um, a, a bullish crossover on fast o. And then um, RSI and FASTO are both in the 40s. Bulls, you want to see both those indicators above 50. If you get RSI above 50 and FASTO above 50, that would be bullish. So, yeah, so this is the ACI chart. Um, keep an eye out tomorrow for either a continuation to a downside or um, possible bounce off this line. Um, we are looking more for, <clears throat> in the in the longer term, we're looking for a, a, a play off this $1 level. All right. Thank you very much for viewing this chart. Hope you're having a great day.